Welcome back, this is Tinkernaut, and today we're going to be working on my FPS counter because in the comments of one of my videos, somebody commented about it, and I was like, so I decided to do a tutorial on it. Um, so as you can see, the, the video explaining all of this stuff isn't out yet, but this over here on the right side, or I guess on the screen that you can see, is some pixel art that I've been creating for a game that I'm working on. Uh, so hopefully that'll be out soon, but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, FPS counter for this. And so how we're going to do it is we're going to right click, do, mm, let's do 2D, let's do UI, and then text. Okay, so what we're going to do in this text is we are just going to say fps dash 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 okay we're also going to give this text a name and we're going to call it um, fps counter okay so once that is created you're going to go into your assets folder you're going to right click create a new folder and call it scripts and then go inside of that right click go create and C sharp script because that is what we are working on Ooh. I didn't give it a name okay we're going to delete it right click create C sharp script and we're going to call it um, FPS. I'm going to double click on it and open up Visual Studios. Okay, so once that is open up, you're going to have something that looks a lot like this. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to delete these two methods for now. And in here we're going to go public, if I can spell properly, public int avg for average frame rate and then down below it we're going to go public text display underscore text just like that Perfect, and now we're ready to create the meat of this code, essentially. So how we're going to do that is we're just going to go public void update just going to reformat it a little bit float current equals zero Current equals time dot frame count count divided by time dot delta time. Okay, so essentially what that's doing is it's getting the frame count and it's dividing by the time dot delta time this will give you the average frame rate um, so I didn't really have to do current um, but it was just easier to do it this way so we can just go avg frame rate we could have just simply stored it directly into the frame rate um, but yeah it's just easier to do it this way so that if we have to make changes to the average frame rate it's not like changing it um, like through just constantly through that we can make different changes to it and use it how we would want to instead of just the current if that makes sense but we gotta do int because we are going to convert the um, the current into an int because current is a float and so we have to turn it from a float to an average uh, to an int sorry so we're going to do that, 
and then all we have to do is display text. Oh, display underscore text dot text equals the average frame rate dot to string. So we're converting it to string. And voila, that what this will do is it will display the text. Um, so that should be working now. Um, we're going to have to use a directory, so we have to do enter using Unity engine dot UI because that'll give us the UI element of the text uh, which is what we need and we're also going to add a string right here just saying FPS and then whatever it is okay um, as well as yeah we're just gonna leave it for now and we'll try all right so now we're going to close this down and we're going to select the FPS counter. We're going to go all the way over to the right. I changed some things, so I made the font size bigger. I changed the color of it. And so this is what, where it is now. It's in the bottom left corner. And so if we go here, go add component, type in FPS, and it'll be right there. Hit enter. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drag, drag the FPS counter text over to there and voila your fps counter is done now as i run this you can see that it's going up and so it's just continually going up and up and up and up and up it's not adding it's just taking the averages of how much frames it is getting currently so i think mine goes up to about two hundred and fifty thousand frames um because I just tried it and I think that's what it was at but I'm also recording right now so it could be a little bit less but yeah there is your FPS counter so yeah you can see it's kind of stopping at 120,000-ish uh, frames per second so yeah that's not bad not bad for this little running program but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you on the flip side kiddos